your hearts and your hands together for the world's greatest comedy team, ladies and gentlemen, Leroy Skillet and Deborah. everybody during the night? Oh, I can see that right now. You ain't doing too good, huh? Doing a little bad, huh? I can tell that right now. You must be doing bad. Overlook him because when he was born, the baby died. <laughs> and if I hadn't had the power of the Lord, I'd grease your ass and slide it back where it come from. With no brakes and power stun. Drive your ass into a disease. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. All this bunch in here tonight, I bet you one thing, it's got to be a bunch of freaks in this damn house. I know I ain't the only freak in here. I can't be the only freak in this house tonight. I can find out who's a freak in here right now and who's not a freak. Every man in here right now, I want you to be honest with yourself. Every man in here right now that go in a motel with a woman and put your head down there where you ain't really got no business, just raise your hand. <laughs> raise your hand high, sir. You got your hand halfway up like you suck a little bitty pussy.
A lot of guys be lying about how much freak they are. I don't lie about how much freak I am. I know how much freak I am. I suck all the electricity out of a socket. And bet I don't even get shocked. That's right, I'm not jiving. I done had me a few drinks, and the way I feel right now, I walk off of this stage and suck a woman's drawers right off of her. I ain't lying. You think I'm lying? Call my damn bluff. Call my damn bluff. I come off of this stage and suck your drawers right off of you. Who don't believe it? Who don't believe it? Who don't believe it? There's a woman with a heart and she don't believe it. You a damn lie. I suck your drawers off. I don't know what it smell like, but I'm damn sure gonna find out. Don't smell too damn bad, I can tell you that much right now. I'm not jiving. Now another woman here wanna draw something off of her. Now the woman over there raising her hand, ain't even got none on. I seen your ass laughing from below. Little bitty kids right now, you know what's bigger this year? They learn what's going on, and some of them talk so damn bad. Here's a little old boy about seven years old. Talk so damn bad, his mom and daddy give him a train for Christmas. And he got out in the center of the floor and he was playing with that electric train. And his mother was in the kitchen cooking. And he was down there with that train, and he started talking bad to that train. He hollered, all aboard! This motherfucker is fixing to move! <laughs> Every son of a bitch getting on, get on! Everybody getting off, get off! Everybody staying on, stay on! Cause this motherfucker is moving! This little bad boy said that about 10 or 12 times. His mother was in the kitchen cooking, she heard him. She come out the kitchen, she said, what did you say, boy? He said, I didn't say nothing, I was just talking to this train. He said, I said, this motherfucker is fixing to move. Everybody getting on, get on. Everybody getting off, get off. Everybody staying on, stay on. This motherfucker is moving. This mother said, I don't lie that kind of talk in my house. I don't lie it at all. So you get up out that floor, stop playing with that train, and go there and stand in that corner for 30 minutes and don't say nothing to nobody. I mean, stand up there for 30 minutes. And she went on back in the kitchen and she started cooking. And this little boy stood in that corner and he did his 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, he come out of that corner, got back down in that floor, and he started playing with his train. He hollered out again, all boy, this motherfucker is fixing to move. <laughs> Everybody getting on, get off. Everybody getting off, get off. Everybody staying on, stay on. Because this motherfucker is moving. He said, I'm sorry about that 30 minutes delay. He said, don't blame me, blame that bitch in the kitchen.
tell me you make love to your girlfriend two and three times a day. That's what Dr. Yeah. You make love to your secretary two and three times a day. That's what Dr. Yeah. You make love to your wife two and three times a day. That's what Dr. Yeah. Well, young man, you'd better take yourself in hand. I do. Two and three times a day. That's what I like to see people do. Just laugh right out. Don't hold your laugh. You might have an accident with that damn laugh. You told that laugh too long. You hold that laugh too long. You fool around, you swallow that laugh, it'll turn into gas, you'll hear from it later. <laughs> And I don't give a damn who it is. I ain't anybody to sit around me and fart and then say, excuse me. <laughs> you know, like, excuse me is gonna kill the odor of that damn fart. <laughs> you done farted and that fart is funky. I've seen guys fart and raise up on one hill. <laughs> trying to get that fart air. <laughs> no, if he sit down on that fart, that fart will blow his asshole away. <laughs> A lot of guys fart and no one even take the blame for it. You probably got friends that you've been knowing practically all your life, sit right up under you and fart and look around at somebody else like they didn't even do it. <laughs> sit right up under you <laughs> and then holler out, ooh, Willie. Look damn well, Willie's asshole ain't said nothing. <laughs> if you fart, take the blame for it. Some guys are so good at farting, as soon as a fart come out, immediately they can name that fart. <laughs> call a quick one like that a hop over. Another one come out, call that a seat through. The baddest fart that ever come out, don't make no noise at all. You just can hear it. A fizzler. When that one hit you, you hurt. I'm not jiving. That's reason I go everywhere so I know something about all things. I got mad about two Sundays ago and walked right straight in the church house. Wasn't my intention to go to church, but I just happened to be passing by. And my shoelace came loose and I'm down there tining. And I heard that preacher inside that man was just a preaching. We save bad women. We save bad women. A wino stuck his head in the front door. He said, you saved me full for the weekend. <laughs> a drunk ain't shit. I walked in a bar, went in there to get me a drink, and when I was in there, there was two guys seated at the bar, a white fella and a Jap. And they was in a big argument about who was the toughest, who was the roughest, and who was the baddest. The white fella said, I'm the toughest, the roughest, and the baddest. The Jap said, no, you're not. I'm the toughest, the roughest, and the baddest. White fella said, I can prove I'm the toughest, the roughest, and the baddest. The Jap said, well, prove it. White fella laid two fingers up on top of the bar, told the bartender to cut both of them off. Bartender took his knife, wham! Wipe both of them off. White fell and shed a tear, didn't even black eye. Jap said, that ain't nothing. They laid four fingers up on top of the bar. Told bartenders to cut all four of them off. Bartender took his knife, wham, wiped all four of them off. Jap then shed a tear, didn't even black eye. Now here's a brother, one of us, way over there in the corner. He don't want to be outdone by nobody. This brother walked over there to the bar, stepped up on top of the bar stool. From there up on top of the bar, unzipped his pants and pulled his jock out. Bartender looked down at it. He said, you want me to cut that off? Brother said, no, just put it in your mouth. It'll go off by itself. <laughs> What's wrong, sir? Leave me $2, Leroy. Do what? Leave me $2. Leave you $2. Yeah, 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 leave me $2, Leroy. Man, I ain't got no damn money, man. I ain't got no money. I can't loan you no $2. Damn you think I got no time to bleed? Leroy, leave me $2. Please, leave me $2. Man, I'm sure. I don't have it. I don't have it. Don't ask me for no money. You sure? I don't have it. You sure? Damn right, I'm sure. What, what you mean, you sure? I like it 30 cents, man, a quarter. Okay. I ain't got no money, man. You understand that? No, you don't understand, Leroy. I, need, I got $2. I want two more dollars. I want to go buy myself a dog. I'm going to buy yourself a dog. That's what I'm going to do. Buy myself a dog, Leroy. Man, you're a grown damn man. You're too damn old to be playing with dogs, man. <laughs> what you going about your business? No, no, wait a minute. It's a life-size girl mechanical doll, Leroy. A life-size girl mechanical doll? That's right. Can do anything a woman can do. Do anything a woman can do. Do anything a woman can do, Leroy. That's how I explain it to you. Hey, wait a minute, man. Wait a minute. If you got a doll able to do what a woman can do, that doll will save a man a whole lot of money. You know that, doll. That's all right, Leroy. Hey, I'm coming, fella. Just a minute, just a minute. Go ahead, go ahead, buddy. I don't know whether you're coming or not. Not with my two damn dollars, man. 
Hey, you're going to tell somebody you're coming with my money when I don't do that my damn thing. Give me, give me two dollars, will you please? I'm going to loan you two damn dollars, man. Do you understand that? All right. I'm going to loan you two damn dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, man, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to loan you two dollars, but you bring me my damn two dollars back. I mean that, no, man. No, I'm going to bring the dollar back. No, don't bring me no damn dollar back, man. Don't bring me no dollar back. I got some damn money, and I'm going to loan you two damn dollars, man. You, know, I mean, you act like you don't like dollars. No, I don't like no damn dollars. Hell no, I don't like no damn dollars. When you was a child, you must have played with dogs. When I was a child, I played with grown folks. Do you understand that, man? Give me two dollars. I don't want no damn dog, man. Oh, I mean that. I don't want no damn dog. You don't want two dollars? Hell no, I don't want no damn dog. Hey, come on, Leroy. I'm loaning you two damn dogs. Damn, right? you look you find my damn money. Just look at some of them socket down the drags. You got that sometimes. <laughs> I ain't said a damn thing about your clothes, man. I ain't said nothing about your clothes. And don't talk under my damn clothes. I mean that, man. Please give me two dollars. I mean, I'm loaning you two damn dollars. Uh -huh. Have your two damn dollars. Now you don't want your dollars. Right? Now I don't want no damn dollars. Well, you be sorry. If you don't bring my money back here, your head gonna go around singing, I ain't got nobody. <laughs> Get money. lying to call me. Well, hell, just look at you. <laughs> How in the hell can you stand up there and tell me, look at me? Would you please take a few minutes, hit the mission out, and check your damn self? <laughs> That's right, look down at you. Look like you just stepped out of Esquire and fell flat on your feet. I asked you what you call me daddy. You gonna stand up and tell me, I don't know what she lied to call you. You act like she gonna get mad and call me a bunch of, she better try to call me daddy. You understand that, man? Yeah, but that's the name she got for me and daddy, Leroy. I'm gonna push the same button you get pushed, and I better get called daddy, man. I mean that. That's the name she got for me and daddy. What button you push me to call you daddy? Number one. Number one, man. Number one. I'm gonna be pushing it. Wait, 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 wait. I like to be looking good and I get called daddy. Oh, Leroy, <laughs> can you try something else? <laughs> What the hell you mean, 
team try something else. Leroy, you know what? What, 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 what you a fool hell? You think I can't change? You can change? You think I can't change? Well, that would be better if you saw the change. Oh, man, you must be a damn fool, man. You don't realize, but damn it, I can go from rags to raggedy. Do you understand that, man? <laughs> I'll be right back, man. I'm going home and change. I'll be right back. Oh, well, that'll be much Well, take me long, yeah. All right. Kill out this meal right over there. You understand? Thank you very much. I'll be right back, man. Yeah. I'm back, Dad. You oh, understand? Man. You ain't changing. You're a fool you think I was going to leave this damn dog. <laughs> what brother was that man to call your daddy? The number one brother. Number one brother. Right up there, yeah. I'm going to push it. I'm going to get called daddy. All right. Let me see what's going to happen. I pushed it. Mm. Dad goes. He called me daddy. She couldn't resist me. <laughs> Say, man, you see that damn dog scoot that damn spit on me, man. I didn't see her do nothing to me, bro. You didn't see her scoot that spit on me. No, I didn't see her do anything. Well, you don't see me cut her damn throat. No, 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 Ain't no cutting on the damn dog. But I don't like that, man. Ain't no cutting on the dog. No. Well, well, just let me juggle a little bit, man. No, Leroy. I don't like that, man. I really you don't, don't like that. Tell no, I didn't like that. You don't like the next thing she can do. What the hell you mean I like the next thing she can do? The dog can dance. She can dance. Dance, buddy. And she got all the movies? Every one of them, Leroy. Show me, man. Well, she saw her. She huh? saw her. Well, show me, man. She, show me. Yeah. Oh, well, come on, man. <laughs> She got it, buddy. She can dance, all right? Every bit of it, yeah. Come here, come here. Yeah, yeah. What button you button you push to make a dance? Number two. Number, number two. two. Number two, buddy. You push number two, that make her do number, make a dance, she said. Yeah, make a dance, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push the button, let me see a dance. All right, here we go. Let me see a dance. This damn dog. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm going to work on that damn button, too. I like All right, then. I like this dog, man. I know you had to like it. I know you had to like it. I know you had to like it. Well, let me ask you that. You pushed the number one button, didn't you? That's right, partner. And you also pushed that number two button. Sure did, Leroy. Well, let me push that third button. Uh-uh. No, no, no press the third button, Leroy. What do you mean don't press the third button? No, no, you can't press the third button. I don't know why in the hell I can't press the third button. Leroy, you mess something up if you press the damn third button. Leroy, you press the one and the two, man. That's right, I know I did. Well, let me press the third button. No, Leroy, you mess up the dog if you press the third button. Oh, man, if I don't go no further, I'm going to mess up my damn self. Do you understand that, man? No. Leroy. I got to go further than no, this I'm year, I'm going to take the doll on home. You what? I'm going to take the doll home. You ain't taking this doll home. You ain't going home with this damn doll, man. Hell, no, 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 you're not. No, you're not. It's my damn doll. I don't give a damn what you're talking You ain't taking this damn doll home, It's man. my damn doll, Leroy. Now, skillet, don't make me cut you. Do you understand me, man? <laughs> but this is my damn doll, Leroy. Man, what the hell you mean it's your damn doll? It's my doll. Man, you talk like some kind of new fool or something. It's my dog. I got two dollars tied up in that damn dog, man. Oh, hell, I'm gonna pay you back. No, you ain't, sucker. I'm gonna buy you out. Do you understand that, man? <laughs> I don't wanna get bought out. I don't, I don't want nothing, man. No, I don't want nothing but the dog. You, damn that, you ain't gonna get the dog. You ain't gonna, gonna take a damn thing home with you, man. Well, what you gonna do? You ain't do? gonna take nothing home with you. What, what's gonna happen then? I'm, I'm, I'm taking a home with you. <laughs> mm -mm. No, doesn't do it. If you gonna make us lose friendship behind a damn dog, you got to be ignorant. Don't do it, Nero. You understand that, man? This dog is going home. <laughs> I can see right now somebody gonna get hurt behind the dog, man. In order for me and you to hold each other's friendship, let's divide the damn dog. Divide the dog? Divide the damn dog. Uh, uh, what you mean, divide the Well, you take half of it, and I take half of it. Oh, yeah, divide. We got the same amount of money up there. Yeah, all right. Divide the damn dog. Well, look, suppose I divide it right down the middle, just uh, like you do a watermelon, right down the middle. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Don't cut it like no watermelon. No. You're gonna mess up the best part of the damn dog. Don't do that, man. <laughs> if you're gonna do anything, cut up crossways. Oh, crossways. Yeah. All right, look here. Suppose I whack a right cross here. I don't like that damn dip you just made. What's wrong with the dip, Leroy? You know what's wrong with the dip. No, I don't. What's look, wrong? Looks like you're trying to dip me out every damn thing, man. Oh. That's right. That's a, that's called a plain straight line, man. Plain old straight line. Yeah, we don't need all that old zigging and zagging. All right, Leroy. Yeah, I like the way you cut the now. Are you satisfied? <laughs> well, Leroy. Yeah. Which half do you want? Excuse me, 
Silly boy. <laughs> boy, your daddy never did talk man to man to you, did he, man? I'll tell you what happened, I won't skill it. I think I'll take the half with the... What? I think I'll take the half with the third button from right here down. <laughs> I ain't seen this hat do nothing. I ain't seen this hat do nothing. But this is the hat that I won't do. I got the best hat. You ain't got nothing, man. You ain't got nothing. Yes, I have got the best hat, you right? Man, you ain't got nothing, man. Listen, that hat, that hat you got each other house and home. You ain't got nothing. Wait, wait, wait. My hat can talk. What? My hat can talk. That don't make a damn difference. Damn it. My hat can walk. Do you understand me, man? I got the best hat, man. I ain't lying, man. Wait a minute, Leroy. I can hug my hand. That don't make no difference. I got a hand, damn it. I can hug my hand too. <laughs> my goodness, I know I got the best hand. I made a fool out of you, man. But wait a minute, Leroy. My hand got hair. <laughs> Your hand got hair? Yeah. My hand got hair. You did say half, didn't you? Yeah, I said half. <laughs> well, I don't think my half is bald headed. I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> I'm satisfied with my half, man. That was Ruby Jane. That ain't nothing, man. All I made a fool out of you, man. That's all what I did. Here, you right? I'm gonna mess you up, man. I kiss my half. That ain't nothing. I got a half, damn it. Hell, I can. <laughs> now, that's real to you, what you gonna do? The band been working hard all night. Turn around and get this band a hand. The Omega Band. I don't know how you feel about it, but this is a good band. This is the best band in this whole damn block. I don't know what's happening in that other block, but damn it, we got this one covered. And it's a hard job being a musician. I know, I used to be a musician myself. I played violin. Played with my wife's band, but damn it, I quit. She wanted me to play second fiddle. I told her, I said, woman, I don't play second fiddle for nobody. She said, hell, small as your instrument in the ears, you lucky to be in the band. <laughs> My old lady always cracking on me with her ugly damn singing. And that's an ugly woman that I'm married to. My wife is so ugly if Moses ever seen her been another commandment. And she got jealous eyes, one always watched the other. That woman so cross-eyed that when she cried, tears rolled down her back. She got pedestrian eyes, you know, they look both ways before crossing. Don't mean nothing to me standing about talking, you'd have to see her for yourself. She looked like Cain Kong drinking vinegar with a train running over his foot. I call her my melancholy baby. She got a head like a melon and a face like a collie. I have to admit one thing, she does have pretty legs. She got what I call peanut butter legs. Brown, smooth, and easy to spread. And when I get that big as I am, them legs gotta be spreaded, I ain't lying. And she can't cook nothing. First woman I've ever seen in my life that mess up cornflakes. And one day she cooked some old jive for me. She called it Beans Alice Shaboom. You eat some of them and all night long, Shaboom. That woman got the only kitchen in my neighborhood where flies come to commit suicide. <laughs> she got about to bed one morning and I just had to tell her. I just had to tell her. I said, woman, you look like a damn gorilla. She said, well, I got news for you, honey. My mother was chased by a gorilla. I said, well, I got news for you. I believe he caught her. <laughs> Ugly woman, I'm not jiving. Ugly. I'm telling you the truth. I know a beautiful lady though, about 19 or 20 years old, was laying up in the bed, waiting on Santa Claus to come down the chimney and bring her her goodies. She was waiting, laying up there in that bed all by herself, looking sexy, waiting on Santa Claus. Santa Claus was so long about coming down that chimney, she fell asleep. Right at that time, Santa Claus came down that chimney and sneaked over there and put her presents up under that tree. And then he started to go back up that tree, but she woke up. 
And she looked at Santa Claus. She said, Santa, Santa, baby, darling, please don't go. Santa, don't leave me like this, Santa. Please, Santa, look at me, Santa. Look at me. Santa stood up there looking at him and said, ho, ho, ho. I must go to take my toys to the girls and boys. She was so disgusted, she didn't know what to do. She let that negligee by standing up drop over her left shoulder. And that big titty was staring Santa Claus right dead in the face. She said, Santa, look at me now, Santa. Please don't go, Santa. Please, Santa, don't go. Santa looked at that great big old pretty titty. He said, ho, ho, ho. I must go to take my toys to the girls and boys. That made her so disgusted, she dropped that negligee over that right titty. And stood up there and let it fall down to her waistline. Santa was standing up there looking at her and said, Santa, look at me now. Don't leave me like this. Santa, look at me. Santa looked at her and he said, ho, ho, ho. I must go to take my toys to the girls and boys. She was so disgusted at that time, she let that negligee fall all the way down to her ankles. Standing up there butt naked. She said, Santa, look at me now. Look at me now, Santa. Don't leave me like this, Santa. Please don't look at me. Santa looked at her butt naked. He said, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I must stay. I can't get up that chimney with my dick this way. Escape from jail. A few minutes ago, I just escaped jail, Leroy. Man, you, you, you're always in the jail house. You right, Leroy. I ain't never in my life seen nobody go to jail as much as you, man. You right, you right. Oh, boy, boy. What you said? You nervous, too, man. You down? I'm not nervous. You just escaped from jail. That's right, Leroy. Well, what did you do this time, Skillet? Well, you see, I shot my wife and my mother in law. Oh, no. No, no. You shot your wife and your mother in law. Shot my wife and my mother in law. Skillet! Why you want to do a thing like that? Hell, they eat up all the roast beef. Now, you didn't have to kill him. You didn't have to kill him. You know they gonna cook again. No, they ain't cooking no more, Leroy. That's the whole out. Uh -uh. No more cooking. You shot your wife and your mother-in-law. That's right, Leroy. Well, tell me, man, how much time are you gonna get? Well, they gave me three days. And wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you shot your wife and your mother-in-law. And you ain't getting but three days. That's what they give you. They gave me three days. This is both of them. Yeah, yeah. Both of them. That's right, you know, both of them. Wife and mother-in-law. That's right, yeah. And you ain't getting but three days. That's what they give you. They gave me three days. Now come every time I ask you, you start hollering. They gave me three days. They gave me three days. That's what they give me. They gave me three days. This is wife and mother-in-law. That's right. And you ain't getting but three days. That's what they give me. They gave me three days. Don't say no more, Daddy. Don't say no more. Look like I'm gonna be running right alongside of you in a damn few minutes, man. Right, I'm gonna right. be running right along with you in a few minutes. Wait a minute. You shot your wife and your mother-in-law. Uh -huh. give, give, give me that. Take, give me that. You shot your wife and your mother-in-law. Yeah. And you ain't getting but three days. That's what they give me. They gave me three days. Stop talking, <laughs> damn it. Stop talking. I'm gonna blow their damn brains out. Yeah. I'm gonna blow their brains out. Oh yeah. I use that toilet, and that woman forgot to flush that damn toilet. I'm gonna blow the damn brains out. You shot wife and mother-in-law, and you ain't getting them three days. That's what they gave me. They gave me three days. Be ready to run. I'll be right back. But, but, but wait a minute, Leroy. Leroy. Leroy, you, Leroy, 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 Leroy. Shut up and die. <laughs> you should have seen me, Skillet. You should have seen me. Seen you you should have seen me, man. What, what you mean you should have seen me? I took my time and I shot the shot out of him. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. What you done went and did? I done went shot my wife and my mother-in-law. And I'm ready for my three days now, daddy. <laughs> but Leroy, you done finished telling you. What was that? After three days, they gonna hang my ass. <laughs> Everybody in the house with us right now feeling merry. Are you feeling merry? If you're not feeling merry, damn it, feel the closest one to you. Let's see what will happen. Yeah, that's right. Why you keep on hollering out over there, sir? Talk shit to who? You? 
I can talk shit to you. Is that what you want me to do? I thought I told your ass to wait out in the hearse. You man. Call me, didn't you? I called you. I wasn't man. there, was No, you wasn't at home. <laughs> you I know I wasn't there. Oh, you wasn't at home, man. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, man. What you at, man? Leroy. Yeah, well, where, where you been, man? Six months I've been going to night school. Six months? Six months I've been going to night school every night. Night school. You go to night school, man? Night school, Leroy. Six months you've been going to night school. Damn yeah, right. Oh, well, I didn't know that, man. I know you didn't know it. In night Six school. months you've been going to night school. That's right, Leroy. Well, I'll be there. You never get too old to learn. That's right, man. You wait, right. You wait till you get this damn old and start going back to school again. I say you never get too old to learn. Well, tell me, Skelly, since you're going to night school, uh -huh. what are you taking up? Uh, in, in night school? In night school, what you taking up? Well, I found a pair of gloves and, and a galosha. <laughs> uh, I found a, a, a t shirt. No, oh, man, I mean in night school. Oh! What you taking up? I, I understand, yeah. <laughs> Leroy, I found everything there is about a black man, I done found it out. You know everything there is to know about a black man? I found it out. You know everything there is to know about a black man? I found it out, I, I, don't, I don't believe it, Skillet. You don't believe it? I don't believe you know a damn thing about a black man. You haven't been going to night school six damn months. I don't give a damn where you've been going. I don't care where you've been going. I don't believe you know nothing about a black man. People are always talking about they know so much about a black man. I don't believe you know nothing about a black man. You've been going to night school six damn months, don't you understand? Six months you've been going to night school. Night school every night. Well, I'm going to ask you a question about a black man, Skillet. I'm going to ask you a question about a black man. Well, I'm going to ask you one question about a black man. Don't embarrass yourself. I'm not going to embarrass myself. How long you been going to night school? Six months, Leroy. Six months you been going to night school. Yeah, I'm right. Well, I'm going to ask you one question about a black man. Skillet, who was the first black man of baseball? Baseball. Baseball. Not only was the first black man of baseball, they booed him when he walked out on the field. That's right. They hit him when he hit a home run. Right. They sizzled at him and cussed him out every time he showed his face yeah. on that field. That's right. And you know who he was? Who was it? Richard Nixon. Richard. <laughs> what no damn Richard Nixon, man? What no Richard Nixon? Hell no, what no Richard Nixon. You sure you know what you're talking about, Leroy? Hell right, I know what I'm talking about, man. What no Richard Nixon? How long you been going to night school, man? Six damn months. Six months you been going to night school. That's right, Leroy. You don't know a damn thing about a black man, what man. What Richard Nixon? Hell no, what no damn Richard Nixon. Who in the hell was? It's <laughs> It wasn't no Richard Nixon, man. Who was it? His name was Jackie Robinson. Jackie, you right, you right, Leroy. Oh, my goodness, I'm telling you, you right. You're damn right, I'm right. But see, I wasn't prepared to answer no question, Leroy. Well, you should have been. You've been in school six damn months. No, no, you don't understand. You have to warm up when you're going to answer questions. Well, as long as you've been going to school, you should be burning by now. Do you understand that, man? <laughs> Go ahead and proceed with another question. No, man, I don't want to ask you nothing. You don't know a damn thing about a black man, man. Yes, I do. You man. don't know nothing about a black man. Go ahead and ask another question. Well, I'm going to ask you another question about a black man, Skillet. Mm -hmm. This black man laid in Atlanta, Georgia, in a hospital mm -hmm. and died for the lack of blood plasma. Mm -hmm. Now, who was it, man? Who, uh, blood plasma. Oh, blood yeah. plasma. I got it. Uh-huh. Not only did he die because of blood plasma, yeah. the white doctor would not give him the blood plasma that he had invented. Uh-huh. You know who he was? Who was he? Charles Drew. You damn sure was. It was? That's right, man. Well, I got to give it up man. Yeah. Give it to you. All right, then. Come on, Tell me about it. You damn sure right. I ain't lying, man. Give my brother skill in the hand. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Real nice. I'll tell you, you should have been in here the other night, though. We had a couple of ladies that never been in this club before. Seated over at the bar, sitting up there just laughing, drinking, enjoying the flow show. One drink right behind the other. Finally, one woman said to the other woman, she said, honey, girl. <laughs> All this old drinking, I begin to feel mine. The other woman said, hell, if I have another drink, anybody can feel mine. <laughs> so I went over there and bought her a drink. <laughs> Cost me damn near eleven dollars feeling around and I still didn't feel up on a damn thing. <laughs> that old woman was so big and fat if she'd have fell down, she'd have rolled to Pasadena. <laughs> big woman, I'm not lying. I'm standing outside waiting on her to come out of the club. You know I'm gonna wait behind eleven dollars, damn it, I got to wait. And when she came out, she ran straight into me and politely asked me where could she get a cab. That was good as I wanted. I put it in my car and drove her straight to the house. When I got there, she invited me in. And I went in there and stayed all night long. And this old big fat woman really had something. And I think I got it right now. <laughs> Didn't nobody give her these. She must have raised them from puppies. I got up never house the next morning walking down the street and I passed by a fish market. I said, good morning, fish man. 
How much do you get for your crabs? He said, a buck and a half each? I said, well, hell, shake hand with a millionaire. <laughs> buck and a half piece, I'd have cleaned that sucker's ass out. I ain't lying. He don't know it, but I'd have been filthy rich. It's about time I get out here and try to make me some money. Times is tough. I got to try to make me some money. Right. Hey, Deborah, what's going on, baby? How's everything? Everything's what, what, doing, I'm doing all right, Leroy. How yeah. you doing? What, what, what's wrong, sugar? You know what? I need you to do me a favor. Do you a favor? Yeah. Oh, every time I see somebody asking for a damn favor, I ain't got nothing. Please. It's close to the holidays. I don't have nothing. But see, Leroy, I don't want no money. You don't? No, see, I need you, I need you to do me a favor. Do you, what kind of favor you want? Huh? All I want you to do is watch my bozo while I go downtown. Watch your bozo? Yeah. Did you hear your bozo? Well, yeah, I'll be right back. And you, you going downtown? Yes, yeah, see, I can't take my bozo because it's, you know, it's, it's too... It's too busy there. Well, take him downtown. What the hell? Downtown is big enough to hold a horse and wagon. Take Bozo down there, would you? It's too sensitive. Come on, Leroy. You owe me a favor anyway. Well, you have did me a lot of favors, and you want me to watch your Bozo. And you ain't going to be going long. No, it'll just be for a few minutes. For a few minutes, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, don't be going long, baby. All right. I'll be right back. All right. Well, hurry back. Okay. Hurry back. Okay. Because I ain't never watched nobody else's Bozo. <laughs> what the hell is a damn Bozo? Bozo! 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 Bo, I don't believe this woman got a damn thing in this sack. <laughs> Bozo! I'm gonna check this sack out. That damn show gonna give me some room to run. <laughs> Bozo! <laughs> Say something, Bozo! <laughs> Boozo! <laughs> Say something, you dirty mother. Bo Bozo! <laughs> Ain't nothing in the sack, and I done fell for it like a damn fool. Woman knows she didn't have nothing in the sack. What the hell? Let go, let go, let go. That woman had a damn snake in that sack, and a freak snake at that. He sucked my finger before he bit it. What the hell is that damn woman there? I'm glad you made it back. You're so busy. You're I'm just in time for me to knock your oh. pump rate loose. Do you understand that? So I don't like that, girl. Do you understand me, girl? Oh. You know you had a snake in that sack. You? you know you had a snake in that sack before you left from here. You know you had a snake in that damn sack. <laughs> and you bit me on my damn thing, and I don't like Leroy, it. Leroy, I came back here to get my bozo. I Damn your bozo. Damn but your bozo. But I don't understand what's wrong with you. Your bozo is down in that sack, flat as a pancake. Get him out and take him home with you. Leroy, my bozo ain't in that sack. The hell he earned it. That's where he is. Do you understand? Leroy, all I want is my bozo. Well, I ain't got it, woman. I ain't got it. Are you going to give me my bozo? I'm going to finish killing him. That's what I'm going to do. Stomp that sucker down there to death. Back me on my damn thing. I mean that. I'm going to kill him. I want him dead. Do you understand me, girl? I'm going to try to kill him. He, sh he should be dead. I dropped down there 400 on him that time. I don't give a damn if I, I want free. my bozo. The hell with you, girl. I mean that. I don't if give you a don't damn. give me my bozo, I'm going to call the police. Call, call the damn police. You call the police. I tell the police, you come up here and let a snake bite me on my damn finger, and you the one going to call the damn police. Call the police. I help you call. Police, don't you help me. Help. Police. 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 Oh. What's going on? Officer. Yes, ma'am. I left my bozo with this man. Yes. And when I came back, do you know he won't give me my bozo? Don't lie to the police Get on your me. Hands off. Don't lie on me, no. No. Give me here, bozo. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Mr. Officer of the Damn Law. Now jerk on my clothes one more time, yeah? Jerk them again. Now I jerk a history knot outside your head. I mean that. And I'm gonna tell you something, little screwed up woman. Here, my lady, her bozo. Just because she was called, that don't mean you come up here and interrupt the damn argument. You understood me? And I mean that. And I'm not frightened of you, I mean it. I want you to know it. Because you're a damn law. Hell with you. Now you can stand up there and look like a horse eating glue if you want. Damn you. 
I, 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 don't, I don't appreciate you. You're the woman no moves them. Put on my clothes. Put on my clothes one more damn time. You know, my gills will not side your damn head. Look, boy. I'm going downtown and make my beat. And when I come back here, you better than give that woman her bozo. You picked the wrong get me. Make your damn beat. Make your beat. Beat your fool damn self to death. I wasn't scared of that police woman. I wasn't scared of her. Hell, I wasn't. You yes, you were. I talked to her. You understand that? You know, next time he come back here, he's not going to be so easy on you. Didn't have to be easy on me. I'd have whooped him in. If I'd have finished my karate lesson, I'd have whooped him in. You understand? All I want is my bozo. Damn your bozo, woman. Hell with your damn bozo. Are you going to give it to me? I'm not going to give you nothing. No ass me no damn I'm going to... Police! 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 I'm going to whoop him this damn time. Oh, he's going to get you. I'm going to chop that stuff in the Come on, police. Police! I'm going to whoop him down. Police! I just think I voted for Regan. Another great round of applause. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Right on. Oh, yes. Oh, I hear you. Is everybody still continuing on having a good time tonight? I can't hear you, Los Angeles. I tell you, having a good time tonight? Oh, yes. That sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. You all right, white friend? Good, good. You see how much fun black people have in that community, don't you? That's right, go back in your neighborhood tomorrow and tell them how much fun that we have in our neighborhood. See, we don't have to have a whole lot of money, not me. I don't have to have a whole lot of money to give my old lady a good time. I'm not gonna take my old lady to the biggest cafe in the community and order the highest steak on the menu. I'm not gonna do that. I give my old lady a can of poking beans and tell her to blow it out of her damn mind. That's right. Stand here looking at the house over like everybody in here smoking on all types of cigarettes. And some of that smoke smells very, very familiar. And I want all you smokers to know that Mr. l is getting ready to buy all the rest of the cigarette companies and consolidate them all into one. He just found out that one cool morning, Miss Paul Mall started down Chesterfield Lane in Winston-Salem. She met Philip Morris. 
were taken up to the Riley Hotel in Newport. They got into an old gold bed, and right away he stuck his king size L and M into her flip top box. And if she doesn't look like a camel in nine months, it'll be a damn lucky strap. But he wasn't worried because he used a filter too. And they said it couldn't be done, but it's what's up front that counts. And still looking at the house over further, I would like to mention a few whiskeys right quick and see if I can hit anybody's special brand. Old Crow told old Taylor that he saw Paul Jones take Lord Calvin's daughter, Virginia Dare, out riding on a white horse by Cobbs Creek near Greens River. And for a silver dollar, he laid her bottoms up, tickle her old drum with three feathers. Then he pulled out his Jim B, which was as hard as a Canadian club, and ran it into her crab watching and gave a shot of cream of Kentucky, and that started the Wilkins family. That whiskey's powerful. My wife gets so drunk sometimes she don't even know me and I'm the damn husband. I walked in my house and caught my wife making love to some man on my couch. I stood up in the center of the floor and looked at her, but the damn woman was drunk. I said, woman, who in the hell is that? She said, I don't know, it's a new one on me. <laughs> it's bad you get so drunk you don't even know what's happening. Don't even know what's going on. I'm telling you the truth. Still living in the house over father. Still living in the house over father, I can see that we have a few Republicans in the house with us tonight. And since we have some Republicans here with us, I would like to recite for you the Republicans' 23rd song, Riggin was my shepherd. I'm in want. He maketh me to lie down on park benches. He leadeth me beside still factories. He restores my doubts in the Republican Party. He guideth me to the path for unemployment for his party's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valleys of soup kitchens, I am still hungry. I do feel evil, for thou against me. Thou menace my income with taxes, so my expenses runneth over my income. Surely poverty and hard living shall follow me all the days of the Republicans' administration, and I shall live in rent houses forever. 5,000 years ago, Moses said, pick up your shovel, mount your ass, and I shall lead you to the promised land. 5,000 years later, Franklin D. Roosevelt said, lay down your shovel, light up a candle, and sit on your ass. <laughs> and this is the promised land. But now at Reagan, he will take your shovel, sell your candle, kick your ass, and tell you there is no promised land. <laughs> That's why you ain't the president, darling. I request now to do something that everybody or just about everybody, or most of the people is during. And I want you to put yourself in a phrase of mind that I was it, and you was using me. Cocaine is my name. Coke for short. I entered this country without a passport. And ever since then, I've been hunted and sought by junkies, pushers, and plain clothes dicks, and mostly by users who need a quick fix. Cocaine is my name. I'm more valuable than diamonds, more treasure than gold. Use me just once, damn it, and you too will be sold. I make a schoolboy forget his books. A beauty queen neglect her looks. I take a renowned speaker and make him a boy. I take your mama and make her a whore. Yeah. Cocaine is my name. All kind of people have fallen under my wings. If you think I'm lying, look around and see the results of my stain. I got daughters turning on their mothers, sisters robbing their brothers, burglars robbing the Lord's house. I got husbands pimping their spouse. Cocaine is my name. I know how bad I am. I'm the king of crime and the prince of destruction. I cause the organs in your body to malfunction. I cause your babies to be born hooked. I take the honest of men and turn them into crooks. I make you rob, steal, and kill. When you're under my power, you have no will. Cocaine is my name. Cocaine is my name. A lot of my friends call me Big C 
Some call me the white lady, but I know who I am and I know what I've done. I've destroyed actors, politicians, sport heroes. I've decreased bank accounts from millions of dollars to zero. I'm a bad, bad habit, too tough for any man. I've caused the law to invest in the bad realm. Cocaine is my name. Cocaine is my name. People are talking about me everywhere I go. In fact, they're talking about me all over this earth. If you think I'm lying, check out Brian Hurst. I got them standing on the corner, hollering, I got that rock. I made it where shootings and stabbings are common on the block. Cocaine is my name. So friends, now that you know, tell me what will you do? All I can say, it's all up to you. But if you decide to jump in my saddle, you better ride me well. For on this white horse of cocaine, I'll ride your ass straight to hell.